Okay, today I want to do a future PSA submission video, so if you're into that sort of thing, hooray. If you're not, I'm sorry. Um, there will probably be an opening next week, so if that's what you're looking for, just bear with me. But uh, got 10 cards here that I'd like to send to PSA in the future, or possibly BGS or CGC, depending on how it goes. With PSA... Right, raising their prices to, I believe it was twenty dollars a card. I, I don't know if that's really an option right now. Unless I'm doing a really small submission. So, let's just start it off. I got ten cards here that, some are modern, some are old. A couple aren't in the best condition, but I want to grade them because they're really nostalgic for me and they have a lot of memories in them. So I want to keep them safe as best as possible. Anyways. First off, we got Rayquaza GX, shiny Rayquaza GX. This is a, it doesn't look like it, but it's a promo from the, um, the Hidden Fates premium box, the really big one. It would come with this guy and then a gold version of Lunala and Sogalio. I almost forgot their names there. Yeah, that's definitely one I'd like to send in first. There we go. Next, we got... Right. Martial Arts Dojo. I believe this one was from... Cosmic Eclipse? I, I'm probably wrong. It's been a while since I pulled it. But it's definitely a beautiful card. And I love how they always add one Pokemon into the picture for the stadiums. All of these... Well, not all of them. There's a couple, like I mentioned, that aren't in the best condition. But these are straight out of the packs, and they went straight in here. So they there shouldn't be any issues. All right, number three. Right. We got a base set to Zapdos. Definitely a fan favorite for a lot of people. This one was given to me by a friend that didn't really want to hold on to his collection anymore. And he knew that... I definitely would take care of everything for him, so he just asked me to hold on to them. And if you ever, by chance you ever see this and you want them back, you just let me know. But I'm sure you know that already. Next up, Umbreon. First edition. It is hard to see, but it is there. Now, forgive me, I'm not the most knowledgeable when it comes to WotC sets, so... I know this is a Neo set, but I don't know which one. I believe it's Neo Discovery, I think. Again, I'm sorry, I don't know. It's been such a long time and I haven't done my research on it yet because, well, with all the PSA stuff happening, I don't really see a point unless I'm going to submit to someone else. And these... This one and this one right here are the ones that aren't in the best condition. They're also from my friend. This one is the same type of card, but no first edition. It's Espeon. Definitely one of my favorites. I don't think I'd have any WotC cards in my collection if it wasn't for this guy. Unfortunately, I gave most of mine away like an idiot. Or, as a kid, I just didn't take good care of them. Anyways, next up, we have Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket. Again, this one isn't a first edition, and it isn't in the most pristine condition. But it's definitely something that I wanted to get graded for just what it is, and because my buddy... Gave it to me, so I want to keep it as good condition as possible. There is a bit of a swirl right there, but obviously it gets cut off very quick. I do have a PSA 8 Togetic, or Togetic, however you want to say it, from Neo 2. It was Japanese, and it's got a swirl right at his feet, so maybe I'll show that at the end of the video. Next up, right, just a normal Charizard GX promo. 
because why not? You got to throw in some Charizards for submission. This guy should still be very cheap to pick up, so if, if you don't have him, definitely consider. I'll be honest, I think the rest of these are Charizards, so... Yeah. We got another promo. This one is an alternate art from Unbroken Bonds. This one came in a Charizard and Braxian... I believe it was a premium box. If not, correct me. Um, but yeah, this one was a promo, so it was very easy to pick up, and definitely one I had to pick up. Because, I mean, look at that artwork. How could you say no to that? Anyways, two cards left. This one is another Charizard. This one's from Dragon Majesty. I believe this was actually the first holo I pulled getting back into the ho hobby. So... Even if it wasn't in the best condition, I'd still want to get it graded. Like the centering looks to be a bit off for top and bottom, which, you know, is okay. It's a Charizard, so I still want to get it graded because why not? And last but not least, we have the Charizard from the Radiant Collection From Generations. Definitely a set I am happy I opened. I think it was the first set I opened other than Dragon Majesty. I got a box of, or I think it was a white Kirin box for the Dragon Majesty and then a few pin boxes and I got this one. So definitely something to be happy with. So yeah, that's going to be a future PSA video or submission. Um, if you have any comments, questions, let me know down in the comments. If you made it this far, I'd appreciate a like, subscribe, follow, all that stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching.